Now, the last few years have not been kind on Dover Athletic, let's just say that. Two relegations in three years, and um, me leaving a game a bit, a bit later in the season, but still, it was about August time when they lost to Weymouth last season. They say, no, I wouldn't be coming back here anytime soon. Well, one relegation later, and they find themselves with a fixture that's probably more, um, more enticing for fans than there has been for a long time. And that is, they're playing their local rivals, Folkestone. The first meeting between these two sides for 20 years. Um, obviously it's taken a little slide from Dover Athletic to make it happen. But all the same, um, you know, anticipation would have been high for this one as soon as, you know, they knew both teams were in the same division. And for some reason, it's the second game of the season. crowd today as expected but surprisingly no segregation fans just mingling as they want I mean I don't expect it to be much animosity but all the same I think it does help build an atmosphere a little bit when like that does happen but I guess it's up to the league at the end of the day Side is so big, they've delayed it off 20 minutes. Wills has gone. Folks and travelling contingent made the six mile trip. Not a bad turnout for the level, to be fair. Even a minute in, and it's one nil to Folkestone already. Lovely 
big arms of header, game on, 1-2. A poor start to the half, in the truth. Um, Dover really kicked on. I mean, it's only one in it, but it, they're really they should be ahead, and you know, we'll see how the second half goes, but that wasn't too bad in the end. focusing off the hook. It's been one way traffic in this second half. Can they keep the momentum going in with 10 men? Who knows? They've been the better side for uh, with the last half an hour, even with 10 men. I can't see the score in Shocking I'm never going home at this point. It's 10 to 10. There's still another 10 minutes to go, plus added on time. Players keep being injured. This game's never going to win. Time whistle goes and the away fans are up in cheer while the Dover fans are liberating the ref. So in many ways it's business as usual of late here at the Crabble but I think this season still will be different. The team looks a lot more confident than they did under Brundle when I last saw them which uh, admittedly isn't saying much. Yeah they played a little I think they were worth a point at least even down to 10 men and that did obviously play a part in the end. Yeah we'll see what happens with the rest of the season. But yeah, thoroughly controversial and chaotic game here at the Crabble. Hope you enjoyed. It's so late.